Newnham House has a long history, going back to the time of the Doomsday Book in 1086. The site was purchased by Viscount Simon Harcourt in 1710 and remained in the family for many years. The main building, a compact Palladian villa, was finished in 1760, but due to its size was only considered fit as an occasional retreat rather than a permanent residence. Over the years the house was extended to accommodate the needs of the Harcourt family. The interiors and grounds were remodelled by Capability Brown, with the entire village of Newnham Courtney being taken down and rebuilt along the main road because it spoilt the view of the house towards the River Thames. By 1832 the house had 104 rooms and was grand enough to receive Queen Victoria and Prince Albert in 1841. Lewis Carroll wrote much of his Alice in Wonderland books whilst boating along the river at Newnham. The house passed through many hands over the years that followed, eventually ending up empty for four years and in a state of poor repair. The Brahmacumaris was therefore fortunate in taking over the lease at a much reduced price and in 1993 they became the latest custodians of the house and the Global Retreat Centre was born. The vision for the house was to create an oasis of peace a place where individuals and groups could take time out from busy lives, regain a sense of perspective and make meaningful connections. With a residential community who run the house whilst following a daily practice of Raja Yoga meditation and with a year-round programme of silent retreats, the feeling of peace is noticeable as soon as you set foot through the door. Over the years, many projects that are still running today came into being as a result of time spent at the house. For the past 30 years, the Global Retreat Centre has hosted dialogues for leaders and emerging leaders in a variety of fields, including religion and spirituality, groups from the different health services, from the field of education and social services, as well as special retreats for the deaf community and for those working in the prison service. There have been a number of retreats for young people from diverse backgrounds, for those from different faith communities and for those simply looking for a renewed sense of purpose in their lives. With a strong sense of serving the local community, the house opened its doors to the general public with a series of much-loved events called Peace in the Park. Over the course of a few days, thousands came each year to soak up the atmosphere of peace, listen to inspiring talks, experience meditation, join in with a variety of different craft activities, take a woodland walk, sit in contemplation in the beautiful gardens, and enjoy an evening concert of music and movement. A history of the Global Retreat Centre would not be complete without mention of Daddy Janki, the head of the Brahma Kumaris until 2020, when she left her body at the age of 104. Based in the UK for more than 40 years, it was her idea to find a place of beauty that would nourish the human spirit and become a centre from which spirituality could flourish. Her belief was that the house could offer hope to people from all around the world, a place of calm and stability in a troubled world. 30 years and more than 250,000 visitors later, that powerful thought has come into being. In 2018, the house was forced to close for essential renovation. An extensive list of repairs, including an upgrade of the outdated heating and plumbing system, meant stripping large parts of the house back to the bare boards. This gave a chance to bring the house up to date, with a refurbishment of all the main rooms and bedrooms, giving the fresh look and feel you see today. With the work now complete, the doors are once again open to the public, and the stage is set for a new chapter in the unfolding story of the Global Retreat Centre. 
we are moving deeper and deeper into more uncertain times. As people's lives continue to be challenged in ways they never expected, this place of calm and stability, offering essential respite and renewal, will become ever more important. Founded on the principle that all of humanity is part of one global family, with one planet to call home and one common future, the ancient wisdom of India, which underpins everything that happens in this house, will continue to steer the way forward, enabling the Global Retreat Centre to fulfil its vision of being a beacon of light on the horizon of change.